New Stars is now for 3.24 PTU patch for Evocati has been dropped, as well as some exciting news for this coming Thursday. There's some more. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment between now and the end of September. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So, um, really exciting stuff. Um, at least the second por portion of this uh, this video, we're going to be talking about uh, what we're going to be expecting this coming Thursday. But before we get into that, let's talk about the new patch that dropped. All right, so Evo Cardi patch for 3.24. Um, they made a few um, updates in terms of bug fixes. It's quite a few. Testing focus and everything remains the same. Just that they made an update to um, the Cortex. It says they made further updates to make docking more robust. I'm really curious to see how docking is working with persistent hangers. So the big ships will be able to dock and it will be a persistent instance. I'm really curious to see how that will look like. All right, so when it comes to the bug fixing, right, they fixed an issue that could cause Vulcan performance to degrade over time. They fixed an issue where entering pad in personal hangar teleports you away. That's an interesting bug. They fixed an issue where some journal entries are missing when first spawning in to the game. They fixed an issue where you cannot keep the hangar. They are assigned before or right after landing facing issue where when an instant hanger is assigned an exit door the external door does not open properly they fix an issue where a vehicle can spawn under or clip to the elevator they fix an issue of when another player is on the pad in a hanger instance on top of yours you can't deliver or retrieve a ship and it reverts you back to the ASOP list. They fix an issue where freight elevators have noticeable transition between different LODs. They fix an issue where uh, you're unable to activate the EMP. So now this is for the Scorpius and Tauris. They fix an issue where players are not automatically removing from a ship channel from 100 meters away. They fix an issue where the submit button on the mission details does not function. They fix an issue where a player ship will sometimes be impounded when they land in their assigned hangar. They fix an issue where personal hangars do not open when contacting ATC to take off or land at the destination. Along with this is two client crashes as well as a server deadlock fix. All right, so one of the things that's super exciting is Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. And one of the critical pieces that will work, that must be in, in order for we to have uh, Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 is jump gates, right? So this coming Thursday, uh, CIG is going to be introducing uh, us to jump gates to see how those work. So uh, that's going to be a really exciting episode. I'm really looking forward to that because this is going to be the first time where actually seeing something on it the last time they did something was the evocati test allowing the first um evocati testers to be able to jump from stanton to pyro and from pyro and back to stanton so this is a critical piece so now why are we seeing this now right this is just my thoughts i think um cig is a little behind in terms of when um we're supposed to be testing uh the pyro jump gates reason being usually when cig drop patches isc tend to uh, match um, the content they cover in isc tend to match the current patches that is happening right now and, and i think because the hangers are delaying them a little bit there's a there's a few blockers with the hangers so i think um they have no choice but to release what's coming out this thursday i don't think they have anything else to replace it you know so i think internally i think they intended to have another uh tech preview where players would be uh, allowed to jump from pyro to stanton and stanton to pyro by this time i think they had an internal goal to have it released by this time for us to test not just evil cardi but probably wave one and onwards for us to actually see it in test and to go along with that would be this thursday's episode of uh 
ISC for introduce introduction to jump gate. So um, whatever issue they're going through with Starsys Alpha um, 3.24, hopefully they resolve it. Hopefully by the end of this week, this way we can move on to the next wave of testing so that they can move on with the jump gate tech preview testing because they have to do it. They recently did it with server meshing within Stanton recently and uh, my, the, very, the very next one will be jump gates between the two systems and um, server meshing um, on those individual systems as well. So so those are my thoughts. Uh, before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.